Hypothyroidism is a very easy disease to misdiagnose. And the reason is because the testing that we have available to us can make it confusing. Sometimes it's very straightforward, but sometimes we get confused between the different modalities of testing that we have available to us. So we need to really be careful how we interpret those numbers and understand that as animals age, their thyroid levels and their TSH levels will decline with age, and that's a normal process. And gaining weight as you get older is also a normal process. So those are the things that people are particularly looking at to help us diagnose, diagnose hypothyroidism. If we go only by those few tests, we may make a mistake. So there are other tests that are available that people really need to learn how to use to most accurately diagnose this problem. Typically, we'll use blood tests to help us determine if an animal is in fact hypothyroid. So we'll do a thyroid uh, total T4, which is a total T4 value of type of thyroid hormone. We'll use free T4 as well as the TSH. The TSH is an assay that is um, not perfect for dogs and cats as it is in people, but it can be extremely helpful in, in discerning whether or not you have hypothyroidism. And the key is really to properly interpret T4, free T4, and TSH in light of your patient's clinical signs.